Did you know that with the purchase of SOLIDWORKS Inspection, you actually get two different versions of the application? One is an add-in that runs directly in SOLIDWORKS, and the other is a standalone that will install on in any computer and bring in PDFs from any drawing application, and it doesn't even need SOLIDWORKS to be installed. By utilizing the add-in within SOLIDWORKS, you can take advantage of all custom property metadata that has been applied at both the part and assembly levels, which then make their way into the drawings and then make their way into the inspection report. So let's go ahead and show how this is done. Here I have a part in SOLIDWORKS that has some DIM export MBD model based definitions, dimensions applied, additional PMI, product manufacturing information, can be added using the MBD dimensions tab from the command manager. For this part, I will use the size dimension tool in order to define the through hole in the center of the gear. And the text position can be adjusted so it will look good once it's in the drawing. Next, I will add a custom property. For this one, I'll put my stamp on it. Now it's time to make the drawing. The more information you can put into the model before this step, the more that's automated down the line. After placing the first drawing view, the DIM export annotations are then imported from the import options. From there, additional projected views can be made and will automatically bring in the PMI data. DIM export data doesn't always look as good in 2D as it does in 3D, but that can be adjusted by moving them around and modifying the text position. Like any drawing, additional dimensions, notes, and tables can also be added. Now that we have the drawing ready, it's time to create the inspection report. Since SOLIDWORKS inspection runs natively, it will pull all data from the drawing, reducing rework and eliminating the need to retype the information. The drawing and part data is accessed from the general settings by selecting the corresponding properties. Here, I will feed in a few standard properties and my custom property I added to the part. The customizable template I'm using specifies how the inspection report is defined and allows me to select what kind of dimensions and notes that will be part of the report. It will also define the unit of measure and tolerances. And just like that, I have generated a full inspection report. All that's left to do is export the Excel report and balloon PDF drawing. The inspection add-in for SOLIDWORKS a lot of times acts as a starting point, so data can be pulled directly from SOLIDWORKS and then loaded into the standalone installation. From there, additional items can be defined and CMM data can be imported right into the inspection project. This will create a full start to finish inspection report with first article inspection results included, eliminating the mistakes that go along with manual entry. It really is all in the setup. By utilizing the DIM expert information, we can just work smarter. Also, if we add these SOLIDWORKS model-based definitions add-in, we can take all that information and we can publish out a full 3D PDF with product manufacturing information, which actually makes a great counterpart to the inspection report. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, give us a like and subscribe. Hawkridge Systems is constantly creating new content and covers everything SOLIDWORKS has to offer. So click that little subscribe button and be sure to always be up to date with the latest enhancements and time-saving techniques.